So let's start with the third type of classification. You have uh, the catchment, so that, that can be the catchment borders, for instance. Then you have the mainstream. You ask uh, which is the mainstream. Obviously, drawing the mainstream is kind of arbitrary because at, the, at any junction you have you have to decide where to do to go but this can be the mainstream of the river so let's say this is uh, in this case the number one the hack order one we have many tributaries to this um, to this mainstream so we can choose a smaller thing so we certainly we should have a tributary here it can be tributary here and here and maybe something like this one these are tributaries of ax order two Obviously, we are tributaries <coughs> of tributaries of tributaries. Sorry, and these are tributaries of order three. And so on. So, you hack ordering identifies the the mainstream. And the interesting thing is, uh, uh, is uh, assume you know the areas of the catchment. the whole thing here let me not not finish the drawing which is the relation if you know the area do you know how long is the stream Hux um, in 1957 found a law that was named Huck's law from him that says that the length of the mainstream is proportional so let's put an alpha here to the contributing area to the 0 0.5 this exponent here actually is uh, quite interesting because uh, in a figure like uh, a square a a pentagon, a triangle, you expect a different law. You expect that the, the mainstream of a, of a square, meaning, for instance, this one, is something like a to the 0 0.5. So it's interesting to know why we have this 0 0.6. The reason here is that there are several reasons, but one is that the mainstream is winding, as it is not exactly a line, is a fractal, and this exponent shows that it shows that the, the this show this thing and other things more information in a paper called on Hack's Law by Rigon et al. in 1996.